My world of food. Today we're on another away day and we've come to East London, London Bridge. There's lots to see, lots to do and lots to eat. So we're going to visit Borough Market now. I'll just show you a few sights of London which you can see from standing on London Bridge. This is London Bridge. I believe this is the bridge that has recently been rebuilt because it was sent over to America where someone bought it believing it to be Tower Bridge. Now Tower Bridge is the bridge over there and on the left of it we've got the Tower of London and then we have the Shard. I believe that might be MI5. So we get arrested for spying on them. And there's probably city buildings. I don't know what that one is. But it looks important. So <laughs> Maybe the Bank of England. I don't know. In the distance there we have St Paul's Cathedral as well. And if you look directly over the bridge we have the GPO Tower. walk along from London Bridge down to Borough Market we pass the Southern Cathedral very old building I believe it's been here from 1206 but I might be wrong on that one so don't quote me now we travel down to of Bems Mead Inn and Catherine May and the food tour starts here. Now on the left hand side we have some food coming up and sausages and chicken tacos, nice paella and a good selection of food. Brood, do glasses of pim and sangria and you can get your lunch or you can get a drink it's all here and then we have tables to eat out on the left it sounds very nice do a big selection of burgers chips mac and chips al bandito it's a sausage with cheese big smoky and a new yorker and we get outside stall or do inside and you can get a drink outside as well and we have cheesery which there's a fair mix mac and cheese pulled pork so cheese sandwiches and they do burgers on the grill and all different kinds there seems to be a big food court here and we have the flat cap, which has to be a coffee shop. There's coffees, 
BBQ, so it's quite good. And we have a juice shop yeah. doing all kinds of juices. Good selection of juices. We have Palace Culture, which is fermented nut cheese. Dairy free, gluten free, yeast free, and 100% vegan. Got different kinds for people to taste, I presume. And different kind of cheeses. Padre. We have a good mixture. Oregon, lime, jalapenos, that, that Spanish deal going on here. Yes. Got a good selection of cakes. Selection mango, chocolate orange, cafe latte, sweet and creamy, ginger, chocolate mint, salt, licorice, big choice. Great selection. If you like chocolate, you can't go wrong. Cheese. Good selection of cheeses. Bakery, artisan biscuits, and bakes. Selection of cakes. New York City vegan extra vegan section. Getting ready for Halloween. Gingerbread ready traditional. Station. Rosemary, Rochecha, tomato, basil, bright pumpkin, buns, bread. Sourdough, great selection, baguettes, really great selection of all unmade bread cakes. And chocolate fish, right? So, really nice selection of plates here cockerels, mackerels, the place, lobster. Really bright, colourful, very nice a salmon plate. John Dory, Rainbow Treads. It's a really great. There's a little deer hiding away in the background. And a train going with some beans, which have a great selection of oils. Chopping oil, raspberry, white, wine vinegar, fruit vinegar. Selection, no chemicals added, no sugar added. English pie, beef and ale, beef and stilton, beef kidney and ale. Got the full range of all the English classics mushroom, asparagus, and white wine. Tofu chicken, British beef and gluten free ale. Great selection of pies, Moody stall, Akai, Spirulina, Guana. Ginkgo, wheat grass, barley grass, flaxseed, mesotin, ginseng, totally boosting, all nicely fresh fruits. We have the uh, Calmatois, on that. Great selection of cakes, very tasty all. Got that homemade look of artisan breads. Good selection of spirits and petit and so okay. As you probably have guessed, the market has the train bridges going over the top, and that's why we're getting this racket coming from with all the trains every few minutes. Award winning fish and chips. Let's have a look at what they're doing. Yeah. Nicely battered fish, it's a nice crispy batter, it's a good quality. Windows, which is 
selection of chicken. I know that. done in the barbecue oven and on this side we have raw so we have Burford brown eggs and then we have the game Lebanese scratch cup chicken dry aged beef 30 to 100 days aged and this is the dry aged cabinet it's very dry aged nice covering of fat on the meat so it'll be very tasty at the nice covering of fat and it's from a Dexter 100 days old now this would be if you like stronger beef bits. It wouldn't be for your average palate. That's for sure. So the products have, as I presume are all homemade sausages. They are pork loin rolled, French style, pork bellies, pork escallops, pork chops. We've got lamb chops, leg of lamb roast, and we've got some parts and liver and then racks of lamb lovely covering of fat again very tasty yeah, a selection of roasting beefs sirloin a little small lie but it's been very tasty ribeye steak got dry aged Aberdeen Angus ribeye and got T-bone steak rump steak brisket we got shinner beef, chuck steak, lovely and marbled chuck steak, short ribs, and omelets. Mushroom risotto, cooking away, the mushrooms are very nice. Looks very exciting, very eye catching. A nice selection of mushrooms for sale. This is a delight if you like mushrooms and mushrooms there. If you like mushrooms, you've definitely come to the right place in this store. And black truffles, you know, fruit and vegetables. Again, nicely displayed, very colourful. Now, big selection of apples, pears, melons. We have figs from Turkey. Exotic fruits, pineapples, Brazilian guava, and then strawberries, raspberries, blackberries, you name it, fish and shellfish from boat to market. We have lobsters here, they don't look particularly happy. <laughs> I suppose if you're ready to get cooked, you probably wouldn't be. Now, our broth smokies, brown shrimps, freshly cooked prawns, could be crabs. There's some cooked lobsters, that's why they're not looking so happy, they've seen them boys. Now, very nice bluefin tuna, right beside, beside a monkfish. Then we got some clams, glossy clams, wireline cod sea bass. Some salmon, bechet and one fish, and there's octopus, squids, langoustines, some nice monk mackerels, divine prawns, lovely brown trout there, brown. skate wings, black sea greens. Again, very nice piece of halibut, lovely meaty, nice colour, brilliant. Some nice ivory coast swordfish. Place, fresh place. Lemon 
soles, like we've done in the recipe yesterday. Whole lemon soles, sardines, doradas, and head creams, and there's a whole cod. We have a large stove sole, snapper, turbots, fresh mussels, and blind caught sea bass sauce with Monier Chuchi sauce. And we've got the mussels, nice. yeah, got green curry, the mussels look lovely, nice creamy sauce. Yeah. Salt and pepper chili squid. Move on to the oyster bar, which is very, very busy today. Big selection of all different kinds of oysters. Spanish sea urchins. And then we've got Carl and Pedro oysters. Fresh lobsters. And the crab. Fresh oysters, sea urchins, ready to eat. Nice selection of all different size oysters from different places. At a small West Country farm shop. Looks to be selling wild bee, bacon, sausages, all different kinds of meat. And it seems to be selling all different kinds of truffles, truffle oils, truffle butters, truffle purees. Wild truffle honey, black truffle oil, French cheese store. Selection of cheeses. Great selection of cheeses there. And some French sausage. Now the olive oil company selling a great blend of all different kinds of olive oils in lovely containers and we have some nice bottled olive oils really big selection here this is the olive oil place to be the Turkish Deli. We've got a big selection now of olives. And Turkish delights. Pistachios, pistachios. It is really a lively and happening place to be great place to eat out and we're mid-morning and the crowds are building up already it really is a busy place with lots to do lots to see and lots to eat and lots of tables lots of places to sit down and eat if you're in these restaurants and we have a pub and a dining room there. It's all mixed up with the nice architect of the buildings. Uh, the traditional fruit and veg store. This is basically what London's about, stores like this. You know, but it's good that they've got all the fancy stuff. You know, this, this is the traditional stuff with the guy shed in there. We got nuts here. It's a chestnuts, walnuts, asparagus. You have the G 
Ginger Peak here, known for their high quality pork, free range pork, dry aged cabinet. And great selection of sausages, as in a fantastic selection of sausages and proper bacon. Really nice today. World famous sausage rolls. Great selection and you can understand why. Look really nice. Got a homemade look to them. Really nice. Spanish foods. So this is a whole shop selling all different Spanish foods. So anything Spanish you want? Brindisa. Got a great selection. Which is really good because look at the crowds queuing to get in there. Which is always a great sign for somewhere, even in a tourist area. Great outside with the cows on the outside. Arabica. So, baklava, crowns, biscuit bags, nice selection, and salads. Turkish style, got the kebab on the back. Good selection. Singapore curries, Cantonese stuffed deep fried chicken. The guys are cooking in the background. Different kinds of pastas, cooking it all at the back. Got a good selection of food there, cooking in the background. Selection, all cooking at the front. And then serve for freshly cooked. And then we have places where you can actually sit and eat when you bought your food then. Street food. And all nicely prepared in front of you. All fresh ingredients. All cooked while you watch. And it's very busy which is a great sign. It must be doing a good job. That's preparing the food there now. We've got some lovely fresh ingredients that he's cooking with, which is a good sign. Today's special mac and cheese for seven pan. Nicely cooking in the pans. All nice fresh ingredients again. Ready to go, prepared in front of you. And then nice selection of ice cream. It's not so cool today, so this is a Jamaican. And to jerk it up box, yardy box, please. And wraps, chicken wraps, and Boston wings. Real jerk. Yum. Traditional Gujarati food, all cooked in front of you with the cheese. So we go from there, we have the black pig to the other side. We have the Tel Aviv market food, which I presume there won't be so much pig on the menu. Slow roast pork cooked over coals. And cooking in the pot there. Prepared in front of you. Not be any more cuisines. We have the Zuma kitchen, the Juma. Iraqi cuisine. What's your thing? We have the gourmet goat. Mediterranean inspired food from sustainable British sources. We have a selection of small sharing plates available to change every week. And we finish our tour of Borough Market 
was really blown away with the variety, choice and nationalities of food available and I'm sure we haven't even seen half of it but it's filling up now, it's getting a bit crowded so thanks for watching, hope you like and subscribe and come back for more content Thank you.